Today we are going to be comparing the MF3R S3M and the YJ Yuang V2M. Both of these are budget cubes, but which one should you get? How do they compare? How are they different? Which one is better than the other? We're going to find out those things in this video. First off, we're going to be looking at the price of each of those cubes. First off, the MF3R S3M costs $15. And the Yulong V2M costs eight dollars. The Yulong V2M is the mo is the most cheapest magnetic three x three. So if you're on a tight budget, I recommend you getting the Yulong V2M. But if you want a more expensive cube, because you if if you think that expensive cubes are way better, then get the MFGR S3M. Let's get on to the tuning now. Let's put the Yulong aside. And let's get on to the turning on the MF3R S3M. So the MF3R S3M turning is really buttery as you can see here. It's so smooth. And when turning, you can actually feel the magnets. So the magnets are pretty strong here, and it's pretty fast, so you can spam a lot of TPS on this pedal. However, for the Yuang V2M, it's kind of smooth, not really smooth, and it's not really buttery uh, as well. And you can feel the magnets when turning, but uh, you can spam a lot of TPS on this pedal. Because you are getting catches on this cube. Like that. So one point goes to the MFTR S3M. And there will be zero points for the Yuang V2M for turning. For corner cutting. For the MFTR S3M. Regular corner cuts are about here. Slightly over 45. Which then force and reverse is about here, which then force However, for the Yuang V2M, corner cutting is pretty much the same, a bit over forty five. a lot of force and reverse is about here with a, with a lot of force so due to the fact that corner cutting is pretty much the same on both of these cubes one point goes to the MFGR S3M and one point goes to the Yulong V2M for corner cutting for stability for the MSGR S3M, it's kind of stable as you can see here. Not the best, but it's good. It's really good for a $15 3x3. And for the Yuang V2M, stability is really good because the magnets are pretty strong. See, there's no floppiness. And uh, the Yuang V2M is more stable than this one. So 0 points for the MFDR S3M and 1 point for the Yulong V2M for stability. Now what are some flaws about these cubes? Well for the MFDR S3M, there is only one flaw and that is catching. If you are really inaccurate with your turning, you can get some catches on this cube. And as you can see, I got a catch here. And that's also because of the squared off corners. Squared off corners help prevent corner twist, but one bad thing about them is that they uh, cause catching when turning uh, really harshly. Now for the Yuang V2M, catching is a problem. Despite the non-squared off corners, here we got a catch. And another problem with this cube is corner twisting, because the corners are not squared off, I can corner twist pretty easily. 
And uh, out of every 25 solves, I'll get at least one corner twist. So that's an issue. So for flaws, the MFGRS 3M gets one point and the Yulon gets zero because the MFGRS 3M has one less flaw than the Yulon V2M. For the mechanism, so if we take a look at the MFGRS 3M mechanism, let's pull, up, let's pull out an edge. It's really hard. There we go. So this is the edge of the MFGRS 3M. And here is the corners. And as you can see, uh, the edge has torpedoes and they hook the corner, so as you can see here, to prevent popping. So the mechanism is really good here. Now for the YJ Yuang V2M, let's take out an edge. It's going to be difficult again. There we go. So this is the edge of the YJ Yuang V2M. Take a look at the corner. <coughs> As you can see here, the edge has torpedoes uh, and it hooks the corner stock to prevent popping. So it's just like the MFGR S3M. So both cubes have same mechanisms, which are really good. So one point goes to the MSGRS 3M and one point goes to the Yulong V2M. Now we're going to be taking a look at the packaging. So for the MF3RS 3M packaging, this is the box it comes in. So this is a, a really big box. And if we open it, we get a cube stand. Some accessory tools, <coughs> a team OU card, and a card with QR codes. A screwdriver. And if we take this out, we have a pamphlet. And finally, we have some extra magnets in case some fall off. So let's put that all away. So to tell the truth, the packaging for the MSGRS 3M is really good. It, it kind of reminds me of other MOU cubes. So, and that's a good thing. However, for the YJ Yulong V2M, the packaging was just a simple box with a pamphlet and some extra packaging. So that's not really advanced, it's just simple packaging. So one point goes to the MFGR S3M and zero points for the YJ Yulong V2M for packaging. Now to show you the overall performance, I'm going to be doing a solve on each cube, only one solve. So let's do the MFGR S3M first. So that's a 12.76, and for the YJ Yong V2M, So that's a 12.47. So I've added up all the results. And it looks like the uh, MFGI 3M got 5 points. And the Yulong V2M got 3 points. So therefore the MFGI 3M is better than the Yulong V2M. So what made the MFGI 3M win? Well it had good turning, good corner cutting. But stability wasn't as good as its competitor, the Yulong V2M. It had less flaws than the Yulong V2M. 
Its uh, mechanism was good, and its packaging is really professional. Now, what made the Yulong V3M lose? Well, its turning wasn't as good as competitor, the MFDRS3M. It has good corner cutting, really good stability. However, it had more flaws than its competitor. Its uh, mechanism was similar, and it's really good. However, its packaging is really basic. So that's why the Yulong received a 3 out of 6, and the MFDRSVM got a 5 out of 6. So, in my opinion, the MFDRS3M is better than the Yulong V2M. However, you, you can have your own opinion, and sometimes you like this more than this. So, if you're on a tight budget, and if you want a really stable cube, but not like uh, a really professional one with a lot of packaging, and uh, you want just like a fairly good cube, then get the Yulong V2M. However, if you want a more expensive speed cube, and you want professional packaging, good turning, and you want like a nearly flawless cube, then get the MFDRS3M. So that is it for my comparison on the MFTRS3M and the YJ Yulong V2M. Comment below which one is better than the other in your opinion. And stay safe from the coronavirus. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.